This is a rack that I made for my pool cleaning tools. I have a, uh, a covered patio and so you can use this for any kind of a roof. I, you know, I'm, I'm tall enough so that I can actually reach these things from the ground. Um, so if you're not tall enough, like sometimes, sometimes my wife will want to brush or uh, you know uh, use the net or whatever. She'll just get a little one of the plastic chairs and she's able to reach it. I think she's like five four or something. But anyway, um, so. The modification basically here is that I don't want to hang my, uh, my pool cleaning tools from like hooks or something. I want them up out of the way um, and this does that. You can see that I have shade cloths so these bands over in this area here are because when I take the shade cloths down in October all this gets rotated 90 degrees. Um, so these were just some pieces of scrap lumber. You might notice that this is not looking all that good. Um, the way I designed this is kind of a prototype and um, it was all done from um, the teardown of uh, a um, slat patio cover. So this would have been the, the two by six joist and these would have been the slats which are obviously uh, you know like one and a half by three or whatever and so I just made this and it's in sections and the cool part about this is you know by itself it weighs a ton but if you make it in sections like I've done here you can lift up all these sections easily and assemble them and the reason that I made it like this is because these uh, these ends here I didn't want them to to rotate down and 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 to um, get hung up when I was trying to pull the, the tool off. So, so I made this kind of like at a diagonal so that it held on to the net and particularly the brush too. So, so that when it lands over in this end, when I'm putting it back up, it's going to land on a spot that isn't solid, which would have been too heavy, um, but is also at a diagonal so that none of these uh, ends of these tools are going to be um, uh, tempted to fall back into a slot like they would over here. I left these as wide as possible, uh, these areas here just for weight, and these are only here just to keep it together. I mean, they're just, you know, I don't know how I'm going to redo this, and, uh, you know, it's, a, it's been a couple of years, and it kind of looks the same, actually. It's been out in the sun getting all beat up, and um, I put the rails on either side here to keep the tools from rolling around too much when the wind blows and um, it just naturally wants to, you know, because of the pitch of the roof is going to roll, especially this one that's just for the, the vacuum. Um, the um, felt paper that I have here is just to keep the wood um, from tearing up my, um, my roofing materials. You can tell that I have these down here. So this year in particular, Probably what I'm going to do is going to leave everything and then um, I've got a couple pieces of shade cloth that I'm probably going to reinforce this whole area and then um, I'm going to be uh, covering this whole patio with reflective coating so I'm just going to have a reinforced area here so I can move these and not have to move these um, pieces of uh, underlayment which I just happen to have scraps of and so they're not going to last very long so I'm just going to build something more more stable for this and again if, if you're not someone that feels tempted to um, or to, you know you just feel like you don't want to get on a chair and have to grab your tools you simply aren't tall enough then this may not be for you but um, for me it works good um, I'm sure that someone that's working on their pool as often as I do would really appreciate just the idea of having this it's like zero cost and materials I mean what are you looking at you like 30 bucks or something and, um, you can see that I've used decking screws, they're all galvanized and so they're not going to rust and I just put some, some junky brackets from my scrap brackets bin on this and, and again I didn't go overboard with the rails so I wanted to keep it light. The whole thing with this is to keep it light 
and so I needed to move it or just break it apart, you know, but throw it away. I wasn't sure how long it was going to last, and I threw this together in just a short period of time, and I just wanted to see the designer work, and it's really done well. But the things in particular that really help out are these side rails, just to keep these things from rolling around. It confines it. There's also a lot of strengthening in this, too. So if you pick these things up, they are a little bit wobbly, but then it makes it easy to align. If I wanted to align this a little better or whatever, super easy to do. One more thing that I've done here are these little bit of, since I just noticed this, just cover the ends of my tools with Gorilla Tape and a little bit of padding. And um, the reason for that is that these ends of these poles, um, if they're out in the sun, they deteriorate almost immediately. And so um, this is a much, much nicer uh, pad to hold. It looks awful, which a lot of the stuff that I do does look awful. Um, obviously, my thing is that <clears throat> you know, anyone can do a better job than me. I'm just giving you the basics and go ahead and improve upon it. Since I'm over here, one last thing too, you'll notice that when I set these, that it's way over the roof. So when I'm you know, putting these, these tools back up, that the leading edge, you can see the wear there, that's not even close to my roof. There's no way that these tools are going to hit my roofing and ding it up. I mean, it's uh, not fun to re-roof. Um, so I have this hanging out, and you can see these little edges here. The, um, the two-by material is hanging out quite a ways that just because of the way I made this. And I don't like putting stuff all the way towards the end because it just splits the wood up a lot faster. So. Um, in this case, what I do is I just set it up. This is the first piece I set up, and I make sure that it's hanging out the way I want, and I make sure that it's going to look nice and square. That um, will help facilitate the rest of the assembly of these other components. And uh, I haven't really figured out how I'm going to do this again once this gets deteriorated. So um, maybe use PVC or something like that. I don't know, but. This wood is, God, it's got to be 20 years old, so, uh, but it's doing great. I am not going to paint this. There is no way I'm going to put one drop of paint on this thing, so uh, um, it's just not going to be cost-effective to do that. So I'm going to leave it, let it go, see how it does.